Hi! In my part of the country, it is getting colder and colder, and I know that many of you are experiencing the same thing. It's not getting as cold as usual this time of year, strangely enough, but it is happening slowly and surely, and I have been bringing out my cold weather essentials. So first I want to start with my cold weather essentials for skin. Skin is the one thing that just absolutely takes a beating on me, at least, in the summer and the fall and winter. So depending on the season, I bring out different things, but many of the things go for both seasons. So the things that I do the most, and I make sure that I take care of all my skin parts and pieces <laughs> with during the winter are the following. In the fall and winter, I always need more moisture on my face. I tend to get dry patches. I get, you know, different parts that just want to peel off no matter what I do. And I found a few things that really, really help me. And these are the things that I think help the most. Generally, I go with a much thicker, more emollient kind of a face cream. And the one that I've been really loving lately is from Colleen Rothschild. It's the Extreme Recovery Cream. If you can see that. Love this stuff. It's a bit thick. I'll give you that. It really, really is. You sort of have to get in there and dig with your fingernail almost to get any out because it's just so thick. Um, but it's so moisturizing. It feels so good. It sinks right in. So you don't even have to worry at all about anything, you know, feeling greasy or left on your skin afterwards. So it just sinks right in, makes you feel so moist. And I like to use that as often as possible, day or night, doesn't even matter. So just try to find something a little bit more emollient that sinks right in. You don't have to be left feeling greasy and you know that your skin has been nourished. Another thing I love to put on my skin that I've recently discovered, and by recently, I mean in the last couple years or so, um, are face oils. Now I know that seems so strange to put oil on your face, especially if you have an oily complexion. And at first it is a little odd and you might, you know, experience a little bit of breakout. Not sure about that, but it's possible. On my oily spots, I did not have a problem. Um, but in general, I don't have hardly any oily spots in the winter. So this is especially good for me during this time of year. I love using face oils. Um, this oil is by Josie Marin and it's the light. I like the light and I use it for many other things too, not just my face, but it's just 100% argan oil. There's nothing else. And it's straight from Morocco and they're hand picked and you know, all that kind of stuff. And it's just as natural as you can possibly imagine straight from the argan nut, I believe it is. And I love that about it, that there's not a whole bunch of ingredients and chemicals and whatnot that I'm putting on my face. So basically it's a dropper. And I just take a couple drops into my fingertips, basically. I just, and I go like this, and I just kind of pat and rub around my, you know, around my eyes and just make sure it's all in. And then I go up my neck and decollete, chest, and uh, I feel extremely moisturized. And you don't have to get the Josie Moran. There are other brands of argan oil. It's just 100%. This is by, by Fox Brim. It's certified organic, 100% pure argan oil. I like this also. And I get this larger bottle. I use this in my bathtub too. I will put a few, several droppers in my bath. I am so soft afterwards. It's amazing. I do take a lot more baths in the um, fall and winter than I do in the summer. Summer's more shower time. Um, you know, the bath is more of a relaxation kind of a thing, not really a get clean thing. So I, <laughs> I put in the argan oil in my bath and I really enjoy that. Another oil that I've recently discovered and by recently this time, woo, fluffy. This, another oil that I've recently discovered, and by recently I mean, uh, this has been only the last probably three months or so, is the Colleen Rothschild Face Oil Number no. 9. Loving this, absolutely wonderful. Same thing, after I've cleansed and everything, ready for the night, I'll just put a pump in my fingertips, do one of these, pat, 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 rub on the neck, pat on the decollete, and again, it sinks in beautifully. No breakout problems, lovely, and I am so moisturized at the end of the night. I've used this, or in the morning, I've used this on my nails. That's another thing you can do with the different argan oils too. Use them on your cuticles, any rough patches on elbows. You can use them on your feet, any dry spots you have. I've actually taken whatever's left after doing this, and I'll take the left um, stuff and I'll just kind of run it through my hair and just kind of get a little bit extra moisture into my hair. I cannot say enough about argan oil. And the, uh, I have not tried this in my hair. I've only tried this on my face. But the 100% argan oil, I'm telling you, you can use it for anything, pretty much. Um, so, yeah, very good stuff. And then also, in the fall and in the winter, especially in the winter, if you ha live in a snowy climate, 
Don't forget the sunscreen. Honestly, I use, well, I wear sunglasses all year round too because the, the glare off the sun is horrific. I mean, it gets very, very bright. And I always, always wear sunscreen on my face. And one of my favorites is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen, the Broad Spectrum SPF 30. It tends to just, it says a lightweight, clean feel, and that's what I like about it because it's true. It's very, very lightweight, clean. Don't, you don't feel like you have that mask of sunscreen on. It doesn't smell bad, you know. Doesn't smell at all, really. Anyway, really love this stuff. You can get it in a drugstore, Target, wherever, and it works really well. So it's one of my favorites. But whatever you choose to use, uh, don't forget the sunscreen. You do get a lot of sun reflection off the snow, especially in the winter. And also, what my sister just reminded me of, um, she lives in San Diego, and she was just here visiting last weekend. Yay! And um, she reminded me, as she had a little stick of sunscreen, she puts it on the back of her hands and even on the tops of her feet when she's wearing, like, open foot shoes, you know what I mean, when her foot shows her shoes, because living in San Diego, she's completely used to having the sun, you know, always blaring down on her. Great place to live, though, um, and so she's very conscious of that, of keeping the sun away from her, and the back of her hands do tend to show a lot of, there is a fluffy, there we go, and the back of your hands do tend to show a lot of sun damage quickly, and that's one of the biggest telltale signs of age too. So once you've reached a certain age, especially you can really tell your age by the back of your hands. So anyway, sunscreen, don't forget it. It's a good thing. Then moisture everywhere on the body. Of course, make sure you do make sure you moisturize. You can use argan oil after you shower while you're still wet. You can even put that on you, you know, rub dropper in your hands, argan oil yourself up. You're all good. Dry off. You're fine. That's really a nice way of doing it. Or if you're not really wanting to spread oil all over yourself in the shower, <laughs> My favorite cream is the, as you know, the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, Intense Hydration. I just really adore this stuff. It is so good. It works for everything. You can put it straight on your face even. There's no part of your body you cannot put this on. And it's just a clean, safe, it's safe for sensitive skin. Not a whole bunch of scents and all sorts of rot put in there. It's just good stuff. Um, not the most you know, elegant bottle in the entire world, but it is really, really good stuff. As you can see, I'm getting low on this bottle, um, this tube, and I always purchase more of that. So highly recommend it, but whatever one you like, make sure you use it in the winter and uh, fall in the cooler temperatures because it's so helpful. Um, in the shower also, I wanna mention that I normally, well, a lot of the times I don't use any kind of a shave oil or shave cream when I'm doing shaving my legs and so forth. Um, but for some reason in the winter, I do tend to grab them more. And the one I really love the most is the Amand. I don't know. It's a shower oil, L'Occitane. It's the almondy one. Really good stuff. I've used this, you know, on my loofah to cleanse and so forth, and it does leave you feeling very, very hydrated also. But for some reason, I just really like this as a shave gel. Strangely enough, it's not a gel. A shave oil? Yes, because it's shower oil. Again with the oil, I don't know. Um, but I'll just you know, put some in my hands, on my legs, shave, and everything just is beautifully done. My legs do not have that weird, just shaved, itchy dry feeling afterwards. It's just good, good stuff. So I really enjoy this, but again, whatever you use, extra moisture is always a good thing. Also in the shower, this is new to me. I normally don't try hair masks and things like that very much. Um, I've only done it once, I mean only tried one kind so far, and this is the kind I've tried, and I have this little one of it. It's the Christoph Robin. It's the um, Regenerating Hair Mask with Rare Prickly Pear Seed Oil, again with the oil. <laughs> so anyway, I'm really, really enjoying this. It's Christoph Robin. Let me see if I can get you. So I'm not saying get this one exact kind. I'm not saying this is better than all the others. I've not tried any others. This is the only one I've tried. I just know that this has made a difference in the silkiness and the uh, moisture levels of my hair. Let me know what your favorite hair mask is, if you have one that I can try next when I'm finished with this, because this little guy is the last one I have left of this. And then feet. You can't forget your feet. Uh, in the summer I use this, in the winter I use this. I use this all year round, love it. It is the Better Than a Pedicure Heal Genius Amazing Foot Cream Marvel. It says it's a miraculous moisturizing mix. And it is the Heals Genius by Soap and Glory. Love this stuff. The cute thing is in the back in this little box here. It says, Heal Genius was tested on people. You might argue this if you'd seen the condition of some of their feet. Yeesh. 
I like that they have a sense of humor. That's my kind of company and it's good stuff. It smells good, feels so good on your feet. I just exfoliate, cleanse, you know, all that kind of stuff and put this on after the shower. Many times I'll do this at night, even if I'm showering at night that time, I will shower, put this slathered on like crazy on my feet in the winter and then put on some fluffy socks. And then maybe while I'm watching TV or going through emails or doing whatever relaxing thing I'm doing before bed, I will let this soak into my feet and I'm telling you, <laughs> it's amazing. So anyway, I personally like this stuff, but whatever lotion or um, thing that you like to do, make sure you put something on your feet to moisturize because they get really, really dry and we don't need that in our lives. So anyway, these are the few things that I have that I always reach for when it comes time for the winter weather to turn colder and the air gets drier and you're in the house and the heating makes it drier and so forth and it gets very dry. So these things help keep me moisturized and make me happy. And I thought I'd share those with you. If you have any suggestions for me, let me know. And thank you again for joining me. I really appreciate it and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.